In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe the concept of a hurdle rate and how it is used. Would we see a discussion question or an essay question such as this? Our goal typically is to expand on that discussion or essay question, then being more likely to pick up the points that are being looked for in an essay question. We're more likely to pick up the topics that are being looked for in a discussion question. Our goal typically is to expand and contribute to the discussion, and being able to expand on the topic is the way to do that, keeping that in mind. Let's go through this one more time. Describe the concept of a hurdle rate and how it is used. The typical starting point and a good starting point here would be to define the hurdle rate and then discuss how it is used. We might want to take a step back, however, if we're looking to add some more information to something like a discussion uh, forum post. And we could take a step back and say, well, the hurdle rate is typically going to be used in capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is something that will typically be involved in managerial accounting versus financial accounting so we could discuss the concept of managerial accounting managerial accounting for internal decision making financial accounting typically with regards to how to record something in order to create the financial decisions then talk about capital budgeting decisions what are capital budgeting decisions capital budgeting decisions are going to be those longer term decisions typically that usually require an initial capital investment and then a return on that vest investment in future periods they usually have a longer time period, a longer time frame. Therefore, we need to consider time value of money. So then we could discuss time value of money. Time value of money means that the money uh, in the future is worth less than money today. And therefore, when we consider a long-term project, such as a capital budget type project, we need to take into consideration that fact that there is the money in the future that we're going to be receiving is worth less than the money today. Well, how do we do that? We could do that a few different ways. One of the ways we can do that is to present value the cash flow streams, to think about the cash flows throughout the life of the capital project, and then present value those to current day amounts. One way to do that is to use a hurdle rate, because the question, of course, will be, well, how do we present value uh, this information, and what rate should we use in order to present value this information? The hurdle rate, then, it's going to be a rate uh, the company uses for a minimum acceptable rate or the company's required rate of return. It's usually based on the company's cost of capital, which is an average rate the company must pay to its long-term creditors and shareholders. So our goal then is to set that hurdle rate, and that hurdle rate then is what we need to clear in order for us to accept or not accept a project. So in other words, our hurdle rate is what we're going to set our discounting rate for that's what we're going to use to present value all of the cash flows from the capital project this means that if we use the net present value approach using a hurdle rate and we come up to any answer that is going to be higher than or a present value that's going to be higher than zero a positive present value then we have cleared the hurdle rate that means that we're going to have that 10 percent hurdle rate has been cleared and we may then accept the project in other words we have a 10% basically return on the investment. Now remember, these concepts can be a little bit tricky when we think about the time value of money and then considering the hurdle rate, which may be based on something like opportunity cost as well. In other words, when we use the time value of money term, often we think about the fact that the time value of money means that the money in the future is going to be worth less than the money today. We often think about why that would be. Usually it's because we the first thought is that, well, the dollar goes down in value. We can purchase less things with the same amount of dollars in the future. That is due to inflation. That's what inflation is. That's one of the things to take into consider with the time value of money. The hurdle rate, however, isn't typically going to be based solely on the time value of money with consideration to purchasing power. We also have to, we also have to consider what other thing we would do with our money where else could we put our money the opportunity cost with the money and so when we think about the hurdle rate it's not going to be just the rate of inflation to present value the the rate of return in order to account for the time value of money with regards to the decline in the purchasing power of the dollar but also account for opportunity cost what else would we could we do with that dollar and you know what is the cost to finance a project 